Hello YouTube, welcome to Text You Can't Live Without. When it comes to entertainment, and audio quality nothing beats investing in a solid soundbar. Regardless of whether you're looking for the budget soundbars, or just want to have the best soundbar that money can buy, you came to the right place. Before getting started, I'd like to say that this list is based on my personal opinion, research and the test experiences of the actual owners. Thus, make sure to check the pros and cons section towards the end of the video. So, without further ado, let's get started with the list. If you are looking for a sound bar to match the looks of your ultra-thin television set with an immersive sound quality, then look no more. As it turns out, Yamaha has been producing sound bars with ultra-sleek construction which are also renowned for their outlasting sound quality. The length of this sound bar is approximately 35 inches long, and fits well with the television stands. With its slender construction, it is easy to mount it along with your television set on the wall. Also, if it placed in front of the television, the sound bars fit perfectly without blocking the display screen. The speakers provide two input methods for connection namely, HDMI and optical which again is very easy process. The wireless Bluetooth technology is yet another advantage of having this product as it facilitates streaming and audio very efficiently. The speakers can be paired with almost every Bluetooth compatible device. Overall, the product does not disappoint in terms of connectivity as well. The entire sound system can be controlled by a remote device, which clearly displays all major functions of the speakers. If the television uphold HDMI connectivity, it is possible to adjust the sound level using TV remote only. Besides the remote device, the home control app also lets you navigate and control the functions of the product. The app offers variety of surround modes to choose from namely movie, sports, game, music or TV. Yamaha has not been known much for its gadgets but with sound bars as good as this, it has definitely stolen all the praise. The product has certainly outperformed other expensive brands and marked it place higher amongst other rivalry companies. The Vizio SB3621 offers excellent performance for an ultra-budget soundbar with great movie sound, and toe-tapping music playback. The soundbar offers a decent selection of inputs including Bluetooth, and will decode both Dolby and DTS. The soundbar and wireless sub feature excellent build quality, and a seamless setup. This Vizio soundbar has a simple design, yet looks quite elegant. It's one of the cleanest, and sleekest looking soundbars in its segment. It features black grille, and black panels wrapped all the way around the bar. Only the side panels are finished in a brushed aluminum texture, giving you some contrast. This applies to the subwoofer as well. When you turn on some music, you will really feel the lack of bass and the overall limitation of this system. Even so, compared to most of its direct competition, Vizio packs a rather balanced performance that justifies its reputation. A budget soundbar system doesn't really get much better than this. If you're in this price range for a sound bar, you might consider getting this Vizio sound bar. It has a lot going for it, and not just its incredibly low price. The bar is smaller than average, and the wireless sub is one of the smallest we've ever tested in a sound bar system. That's all good, but it was the SB3621 sound that clinched the deal. It's clear, clean and dynamic, with satisfyingly deep bass. This system sounds equally good with music, and movies. If it fits your budget, and you have room for the separate subwoofer, it is one of the best sound bars to get. The Bose Solo 5 is a cuboid-shaped device that can sit flat on any surface that could be placed anywhere around the TV. It can also be wall mounted if you want that, but just remember that Bose does not provide a wall mount assembly. 
measuring at 548 by 70 by 86 m, and weighing only 6.35 kg, while mounting the soundbar is relatively straightforward. However, brackets aren't included, and you'll have to splash out an extra 40 bucks for the Bose WB120 bracket. If you do choose to wall mount the Solo 5, you can easily toggle the soundbar's audio output to compensate for the lack of bass this creates. Unfortunately though, the dimensions of the Bose Solo 5 work against it, as soon as you start listening. The size of your TV will impact how much of a difference it's able to make, and it is worth bearing in mind that a small TV is likely to benefit more from the Solo 5 than a larger one. Voices are projected better, and with good clarity, and the overall presentation has more body and solidity to it, avoiding the thin, hard sound that many slim TVs tend to have. The midrange is focused and direct, with a controlled, crisp treble. Bose Solo 5 is a simplistic soundbar that ultimately achieves its two main aims, to boost your TV's sound, and look good while doing so. The problem is that it doesn't add a great deal more to the experience outside of that. It is more talented competition, which might not match its dimensions and convenience, but blow it out of the water when it comes to performance. Overall, the Bose Solo 5 is a simplistic soundbar. It's beer bones in terms of functionality, but its low price makes it an inexpensive upgrade if you find your television speakers lacking, and don't want anything too complicated. While it will certainly improve on television speakers, its sound improvements aren't drastic, which is a shame. Really, it's the included universal remote control, that sets it apart from other budget soundbars but, even with this, you're better off with an alternative model, such as the upcoming Sonos Play Bar. It isn't cheap, but the Sonos Play Bar is money well spent, there's enough rumble in the bass to give action movies an appropriate sense of drama, but the mid-range, and high-frequency audio is sweet and clean. The best word we can use to describe the Play Bar sound is assured, it's not just that you never doubt that it will be able to reproduce that bass line, tricky percussion or soaring vocal that's coming up, but that it does it all without strain or even apparent effort. There's no sense that it's trying too hard, no sense that Sonos is masking lack of control at the bottom end with silly, juvenile thumpiness. It just sounds clean, precise, neutral, without sliding clinical soullessness. Like every Sonos product, the Play Bar has very limited connections. There are two Ethernet ports, the power socket and the all-important optical input. Where every other TV-related audio gadget has moved to HDMI, the Sonos Play Bar uses an optical audio input, make sure your TV has an optical output before buying. Its driver setup works extremely well, producing a wide, detailed and grand-sounding sound stage. The Sonos Play Bar creates sounds genuinely larger than its size, however we did find that the best results came from positioning the sound bar upright rather than on its back, as Sonos suggests. The Sonos Play Bar sound is exceedingly crisp and detailed, a tonality that's common in aluminium-bodied speakers. There's real finesse in its delivery of music and dialogue alike. Taken as a whole system, there's no denying that this sound bar sounds fantastic. For films and TV, the clear audio and excellent range make it one of the best sound bars that we've listened to. It's great that you can also add extra components to make it a full surround sound system. We like the Play Bar enormously. It sounds stunning, can integrate nicely into an existing Sonos audio system, or be the first thing you add to your home from which a rich, easy-to-use multi-room audio system can organically grow.